It's fascinating that as evil has disappeared from our academic corridors, um, it appears with great regularity uh, in much of our literature. And I don't mean just literature from the past, like Dostoevsky, for example, or Herman Melville, but contemporary literature, including literature for children. And one great case in point would be the Harry Potter stories, where, where Lord Voldemort is the epitome of, of evil and of evil deed doing. And what's interesting in the way that J.K. Rowling unpacks this is, the, is that evil sort of lays waste. It destroys friendships. It destroys families. It destroys lives. It, it, um, it is a great, it's nihilistic. Uh, it leads to, invites what the great political philosopher Hannah Arendt called the banality of evil. It just lays waste to things. The problem with abandoning altogether the category of evil is that it becomes nearly impossible to name certain phenomena in the world uh, that must be combated, that must, one must stand against. What does one do, for example, with the phenomenon of a death camp? How do you describe that? Do you say it's just bad? It is the outcropping you know, of evil in the world uh, through human action. And if we lose, again, our ability to name that and to, uh, and to figure out how to best oppose it and combat it, we've lost a great deal. And we fall again into this sort of strange world where, you know, as, as uh, Hegel said, all the cows are painted gray and you can't distinguish you can't distinguish that which is good or better from that which is, which, which is evil.